Hey guys, it's Shah here at the Tech Borg, and today's video we're going to be doing uh, Turtle and I'm sure many of you know or at least heard about Turtle in Python. It's, it's a very cool um, uh, addition to Python that you could use um, and actually it looks pretty cool. Um, and what Python does, it just launches a completely separate uh, UI uh, for Turtle. I'll show you how it's done. So you just import Turtle. You have to import the libraries like I always say first of all and then Turtle dot forward okay and then in the forward brackets you want to put uh how many units so i'm going to put i don't know like 25 and then if we save and run this now so as you can see it's going to it launched a python turtle graphics thing and then as you can see we have the arrow which moved 25 units uh in computer units if we make it 100 it'll probably move even more so as you can see it moved 100 units so the, th the question is what can we do with this well we can do quite some simple things at least for now is we can make a square so we can do that by doing turtle dot forward and then turtle dot right which actually uh, is is an angle so turtle dot right you want to tell how many angles to uh, how much how many degrees to turn to the right so 90 degrees uh, because square is a 90 degree and then you just want to repeat this uh, three times uh, other than what it already is so if I run this now um, there, there, there. As you can see, it formed a nice, simple square. Um, but is there a work around this? Uh, yes, there is. Um, so if we close this, close this, and then if I just get rid of all these repetitions, and then if we go while true, which basically just starts at looping everything. Save, run. Okay, my bad. Okay, there you go, it's working. As you can see, it's looping. Although the import toe should not be in the while loop, uh, it should be outside on the top. Let me just make those changes. Um, so if I just remove it from here. And there we go. I mean, it works anyway, but I mean, it's, it's better. It's a good practice to not keep it in there. And that's really it, guys. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and we've just made a shape. The question is, what what else can we do with this? Well, we can make some nice visual representations of something. Um, as you can see, I've made a square right now, but there's many other shapes you can make. And the other cool things you can do is like you can set coordinates. So what, as you can see, when I run this, it keeps on going around in a circle. We can set it so that it stops when it reaches its starting position, which is over here. So when you set the coordinates of X and Y to zero, it should stop because that's where zero zero is. Let me show you how that's done. Right, so getting on with the uh, loop system, so I think I'm just going to use a simple for loop actually. So what you can do is just for, and then we can make a variable of here on top, x is equal to 0, or anything I guess. Uh, I mean you can, you don't even have to make it, but I'm just going to make it, make it for the sake of it. For x in, and then you can have 0 to 3, sorry, wrong location, 0 to 3, that should loop 4 times exactly. And then after that, it should break. And then print by. And then if we run this, there. Oh, okay, so it seems like it has gone stuck over there. It's only done it twice. So if I remove this now, maybe now it works. Maybe you don't need to create it at all. No, it still gets stuck at uh, thing uh, 2. So this means that we haven't done it enough times. So if we increase this to 4, maybe it does it more times. No, the program keeps breaking. Okay, let's let's try and uh, fix this program then. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened was I forgot range. Uh, range is really important because it tells you from where to where. You need to, so you give the start and you give the end, but it doesn't include the start. It includes the end, just like that. Um. So so it's gonna be one two three four rather than zero one two three four, which would be five times. So if I run this now, it should work. And it's working like a charm. As you can see, it stopped at the position we wanted to, and it gave a nice message. Bye. That's really it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, turtle is very simple. I'm gonna go into more details about the. Well, I, I can show you about the x coordinate, y coordinate. It, all you have to do is just print uh, x uh, turtle dot x core, and then it'll print out the x coordinate of the turtle. And then if you want to print out the y coordinate, you can just uh, put y instead of x. So I just change this to y run this now uh, okay and it, these are the coordinates of the toe uh, which I believe they are wrong um, I should be zero zero ideally but maybe because it's side in the middle um, but yeah 
uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and comment if you need any help. And thank you for watching, guys.